Hello viewers, Alan here, back in the workshop, wanting to make some more progress with the index ring for the dividing head. And I decided to mount it on my horizontal milling machine. But as you can see, the table is very high at the moment, it's awkwardly high actually. And that's because the milling machine is currently sitting on wheels, um, wheels which I made up uh, quite some time ago. And the wheels are fitted to bearers that can be configured differently according to whether I need it to be mobile or not. So I thought I'd just make a quick video and uh, show you how that works. So. Here it is. So the table is uh, quite high at the moment because it's sitting on these um, uh, raising blocks and wheels. And I, I wanted to do that because when I first got the milling machine, it had um, a vertical milling head on it, which meant the table was very much lower. And being a tall person, it just wasn't a comfortable working height. So I originally made it with these um, raising blocks and I'll lift it up and show you exactly how it works because originally I didn't have it on wheels um, but it turned out to be useful uh, anyway I'll just remove one of those so you can see um, how it all worked so to lift it I used a rather cute little um, pallet truck which I was able to source um, it, the, you'll probably see that the prongs are shorter than normal it, uh, normal pallet trucks designed for a a 1200 by 1200 pallet. Well, the, the prongs on here are more like 900, they're shortened, and also they're not as wide apart. Uh, and it makes it, because I don't have a huge amount of space in the workshop, it just makes it a lot more convenient. So anyway, it's still rated at 2500 kilos, certainly not a toy, but um, I had, uh, I didn't want to buy a full size one because they just take up so much space when you're not using them. So we just make sure we've got this in the right place. Yes, it's come through to the other side. Of course, you've got to try to make sure that you get the um, centre of balance right as well. I don't remember it having that squeak before, but anyway. Oh, I think she's up in the air now. All right, so I've got uh, blocks of wood under it, so let's uh, back up in case the jack decides to have conniptions. These bolts are rather oversized, but uh, it was a function of filling the hole in the um, base of the uh, milling machine. Yeah, so the bolts were a little bit oversized, but like I say, they were to size the hole in the thing and also they needed to be quite long. So anyway, that's one out. Uh, get the other side off. Right. So the bolt in. So now I think you can see the setup a little bit more clearly. There's actually two sets of um, two sets of mounting holes. The uh, ones that we've just used, which uh, sorry. The ones which we just used, which hold it in that orientation so that it's on the wheels. But I've got also got these feet on the legs and another set of holes here. So I can actually now mount this the other way around and it will be a bit lower. And I, oh, so I mount it with the wheels sticking in so I don't trip over them. Oh, it's quite uh, quite chunky this guy. I'll just 
just measure it. So it's a piece of uh, 70 by 120, 125 rectangular hollow section. Pretty thick wall too actually. Anyway, it's more than up to this job. Let me get these bolts back in. Excuse all the wheezing and heavy breathing. All right, I think I might get a piece of wood to hold that up while I put the nuts in. All right, lift these up, do the nuts up, move back around to the other side. Concrete floor is a bit hard on the old knees. See, so I've got a rubber spacing pad here too, just to uh, do a bit of vibration absorption. Well, that was the thinking. <laughs> no, just how useful it is. Alright, I'm ready for the spanners. speed things up if I've got a socket that size let me go and check all right I'll just run it up run the bolt up with this right. I want to overload my um, drill well, I think you probably have done more than that though to be monstrously tight anyway. probably notice that it's uh, <coughs> quite a bit higher off the ground like that so when I pull the blocks out this will actually go back significantly lower than it was before or well, usefully lower perhaps is a more accurate way to say it So we'll take the blocks out of this side. Puffing and blowing like an old cow. Oh. My advice to my kids all the time is don't get old. They don't listen though. Probably didn't listen to my dad much when I was young either. Uh, right. Let's move around to the front of the machine and do the other one. Okay, so this one's a bit different as you can see. Um, I deliberately made this uh, uh, bearer longer um, so that the um, I, I didn't want to compromise the stability of the machine basically when the tail was extended out to either side um, and I cut it off at an angle to try to minimize the tripping hazard uh, but the other advantage I had of having these blocks widely spaced um, is I was able to slide a drip tray under here um, uh, through the wider spacing of those things so there was a couple of advantages anyway let's get it unbolted and uh, switched over oh I've got to get the wooden blocks uh, there isn't actually room to, to uh, let's 
Let's do it quickly, eh? While nobody's looking. Oh, I don't like crawling around on the floor. Huh, old knees, etc. All right. Oh, let's try to pull you out. All right. I'll turn you around. Get you back under there. wedge under the side as well. There we go. Okay, so I've tried to tie the nut and the two washers together with a bit of tape. Let's see whether that uh, swings the odds in my favour. Right. That's got it all started anyway, I think. Tell me it's cross. One of the bolts holds the wheels on, sticking in from the back, and the washer stack's got to get above that. So that's a design oversight. Anyway, we'll find a way around it. Okay, so take two. I've taped the nut and the washers together, and what I know, and I've pulled the bolt back. So now, hopefully, I can slide it in above the um, bolt that's sticking in. Oh, a bit of a pain that is. Right, I won't do it up tight yet. Whew. One down. Oh, three down out of four if I want to make myself feel better. Oh, I don't like this. Standing up and kneeling down nonsense. Okay, so I've made another one up. Learn from a previous mistake, we'll pull that out. Shine the light down the hole, get it lined up. See if we can do this side a bit faster. Let's try that. That's the hard part done. That's tight enough. Right. Okay, time for her to uh, stand on her own four feet again. I'll just uh, lower her gently down. Hydraulics are a beautiful thing. There we go. And um, there's enough room for this pallet jack to live under here and stay out of the way. So thanks for watching and look out for the next video where I get into uh, cutting the grooves in that index wheel.